Hello, today we are talking of uh, conic sections. There are several types, four major types of conic sections, which include the circle, the ellipse, the parabola, and hyperbola. The so many authors does not include circle as part of conic sections, but you can see some authors saying that conic circle a uh, method of construction of a circle is a part of conic sections, which is also right. But majority of uh, authors will say that conic sections are of three types, which is the ellipse, parabola, and, par and hyperbola. Then in ellipse, there are other methods you can use to construct ellipse. Ellipse and circle has the major methods you can use to construct them. Of ellipse, you have concentric circle method using circle to two circles to construct an ellipse. Rectangular method using a rectangle method, rectangle to construct an ellipse. Oblong method, which you can use an oblong uh, uh, to oblong to uh, shape to construct a, uh, an ellipse. Arc of circles method, arcs of circle method, rhombus method, and basic locus method. So you can test on textbooks. You can see it as directrix me directrix focus method. So for parabola, you can also see some methods you can use to construct parabola, rectangular, rectangle method, method of tangents, or triangle method, and basic locus method, or directrix uh, focus method. For hyperbola, you can also see rectangular method, rectangle method. You can see a uh, rectangle method is of two types, the coordinate the coordinates given and the rectangular hyperbola for PV diagram. So you can also use a basic locus method or directress method. In reality, you can always use two major methods to construct any conic sections. That two method methods is one, rectangle method. Two, basic locus eh, method with these two methods you can also use it to construct a circle you can also use it to construct a, an ellipse you can also use it to construct a parabola and you can also use it to construct a hyperbola these are conic sections you can see the one of cone you cut a cone at a particular angle that cuts across the two sides it becomes forms a shape of a an, of an ellipse the cone forms the uh, top cone forms the shape of an ellipse. But if you cut it across an angle to a particular side, it forms a parabola. But if you cut at a particular side that is a little bit uh, above 90 degrees, you can see we cut only one side. It forms a shape of a hyperbola. So these are the shapes of an ellipse. When you call it conic section in a that with a horizontal line, you can see the shape at the top we form we form a circular conic sectioning. Okay. Now we are going to deal today with the methods of constructing an ellipse. First, we start with circular concentric circles method, and that or circular methods of constructing an ellipse. First of all, you draw a circle, the major circle. This is the major circle. Then you draw also the minor circle. You must always have a major and minor circle. Then you draw the diagonals of the circles, the horizontal and the vertical diagonals of the circle. Then in concentric method, you can also apply two techniques. Okay, let's forget about that one but for now. Now we have drawn the diagonal. If you want to construct a, an ellipse in a concentric circle, you can even divide the circle in these four equal parts, forming the quad, uh, quadrant of the circle, and then you can draw your ellipse. See the shape of your ellipse? The ellipse will form the shape of this point. We use a curve joined from point A to point B, from point B to point C, from point C, to point a D and from D back to point here, A. But for more accuracy, it's always better to divide the circle into more than four equal parts. 
But note, every division of this circle must be an even division. For example, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on. We can even divide it into 30, 36, 32, 34, 36. The more you divide the circle into any given equal angles, the more the accuracy of the ellipse and the more the perfection of the curve of the curvature of the ellipse. So, but in this work, we are going to divide into four, six, eight, twelve equal parts. And for you to divide 12 equal parts, you just do 12 divided by 360, which is the total angle in a circle you have what? You have 30, so you have to divide the circle by 30 degrees. Already you have the quadrant. So the first quadrant has a 90, so you have to divide 1, 2, 3 to form a 12 equal parts. Okay, so you continue dividing until you get the 12 equal parts. Now we have divided into square feet equal parts. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 equal parts. For you to construct a concentric, watch me carefully from the point of tangency where the line touches this, the major arc, you draw a, part, a horizontal line. You see it? You do the same thing. On the major axis, on the minor axis, you draw a vertical line. You continue. Over this side, you draw another horizontal and draw another vertical. Draw another horizontal and vertical. Horizontal and vertical. From major and minor. From major and minor. From major and minor. From major and minor. Okay. So. The point of intersections of these lines, you can see it, point of intersections of the horizontal and vertical line forms the point, the, cent the curvature point for the ellipse, okay? So watch how I'm going to draw it. Wow, you can see how you can form the ellipse of A. A sec uh, 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 the ellipse using a concentric uh, circle method. So it's a very simple and smart and one of the easiest method you can use to construct an ellipse. Okay, so if you have any question or any other thing, you can still go to my YouTube channel and uh, see more of it.